Today we have a video request from a massive YouTuber. Yeah, everybody knows and loves him. So let's get on with it. Hi, Sorted Food. I'm Tayson Day. Nothing is ever simple for me when it comes to food. For example, I love chocolate brownies. But many of my friends have celiac disease, which means their bodies can't process wheat gluten. So my chocolate brownies should be made of oat flour, rice flour, potato flour, and other gluten-free flours. They should also be low in sugar because there's evidence that eating a lot of sugar is metabolized in unhealthy ways by the liver. I also think natural sources of sugar like honey, agave nectar, and fruit juice are best because they contain more complex micronutrients than refined sugar. My brownies should also be served in small portions because one of the healthiest lifestyle choices we can all make is caloric restriction, eating fewer calories or eating fewer calories more often. It's also important to avoid hydrogenated fat and salt. Both help to stabilize and prolong the shelf life of retail products, but there are healthier alternatives. I'm also a big fan of food that is organically grown without pesticides and food that is seed patented free, meaning the seeds were not considered someone else's intellectual property at the time they were planted. It's also great to seek out fair trade ingredients that are conscious of the pay and labor conditions for agricultural workers, including the key ingredient for chocolate brownies, fair trade cacao. Have fun making my chocolate brownies. Talk to you soon. Wow. Uh... Taste all day, everyone. Yeah, but cool stuff, cool request. A little challenging. A little bit. But we can do a fantastic request with all those things in mind, and that's chocolate polenta cake. Mm. Okay, so it's gluten free by using polenta instead. So, is polenta not a savoury dish? Uh, often associated with, but yeah. there's no reason why you can't use it in sweet. Uh, so, okay. that's exactly what we're going to do. So, if you can heat the milk up, yep. bring it to a boil, and then we're going to add our sweetener, which is going to be honey. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we can't use any refined sugar, so it's going to be honey instead. Here. Right. This one here. Okay. This one here. Okay. A tiny pinch of salt, and you just need that with a polenta, but tiniest, tiniest bit. And bring that up to the boil. And over this side, we'll separate out an egg. And Mike, you're going to whisk this up. Okay. Right. So the yolk can go here, we'll need that in a minute. And if you can whisk up, just in that one actually, yeah. our egg whites. This is coming up towards the boil. Fantastic. And to this, we're going to add our cornmeal or polenta, okay? So yes. we're going to use this, which sets at room temperature. Oh, okay. okay, so it's going to cook, it's going to set, and that's going to give you a cakey kind of texture. So now that's come to a boil, you add it in, and if you stir that round, yep. Jamie, it will thicken up pretty quick. And to that, also going to add a little, little dash of vanilla essence. Okay, cool. so that's the sweet. So we've got honey in there and vanilla essence. And then obviously our main ingredient is our chocolate. Chocolate, now, chocolate. <laughs> as Tay said, fair trade chocolate, so covering off on that. And this is a nice one that's got mint in it already. And would you use something like 70%? Cocoa or the stronger the better. So you just bring that off the heat towards us. You're washing up liquid's done. That's oh, done. Good, good, good. Oh. Remember our stiff peak. Yeah! Looks good, looks good. We're there, we're there. This is quite a sort of a challenging, isn't it? So it fit everything I mean, into loads one. Loads of people have uh, food dietary requirements, yep. so you can mix and change different things, whether it's gluten, or sugar, or whatever, but it's unusual to have them all in one. So what would so be really good is to get your ideas as to what else we could have done. Obviously, mm. this is Ben's yeah. idea. This is my suggestion. Of Write down today. below what you think uh, we could do in the same situation. It'd be really good to hear that. This is what our polenta looks like once it's cooked. So really kind of stiff. Mashed like potatoes. Like mashed potatoes, yeah. like we said. And into it, still nice and hot, goes all of our chocolate. The yolk can go in there now. And some cream. I'm just going to loosen the whole thing up so you can mix all of that in. Loosey, loosey, baby. And remember all of our light, fluffy air that you did now needs mixing in here as well. So just fold that in nice and gently. At this point, I'm even going to just taste that because it's really rich. Oh, you've already got a spoon. I'll taste that. Here. Thanks. Now, obviously, this was mint chocolate, oh, so the nice. chocolate already had the flavour in there. Mm. You can use any chocolate you like. So one with orange. chocolate orange, chocolate chilli works really well. Yeah, we just pop our mix into individual moulds because remember, Tay wanted the caloric small. diet, so small portions. small portions. Now you've got the oven preheated, haven't you? I certainly have. To 180 degrees. I think you're right. You just flatten those down, Mike. Yep, sure. Tingle. So as the polenta cooks, it holds the whole thing together and gives it as close to that brownie texture as you can get yep. without the flour and the butter and the fine sugars. That can go into our oven. They need about 20 minutes, and then take them out and let them cool completely before you pop them out of their moulds. So when they've had a chance to cool, they come out and they look like this, so little individual brownies. They're cool. So we'll pop those on there. We'll even cut into one so you can see exactly what you mean in the centre there. Slightly still that gooey, yeah, as you can see, that, that you expect yeah. from a brownie. 
plenty of fresh strawberries as well. That is all looking fantastic. So here's one sweet treat. We've got a whole playlist full of other sweet treats if you wanted to have a look at them. But for Taison Day and anyone else with some dietary requirements, this is our chocolate polenta cake sorted. Mmm. It's hard to believe that that doesn't have butter, flour, or anything else. It still works. Mm. Tastes really good for something made out of air. <laughs> It's a little bit different to your normal brownie, but everything that Tay wanted. Chicka 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 choo choo! Mm. Chocolate tree! <laughs> <laughs>